what is the second trait of resilience? Bouncing back when things go wrong by figuring out what happened and how to learn from it. How would someone who wasn't resilient react when something goes wrong? Yeah, a non-resilient person would probably try to forget about the mistake and not learn from it. And they'd also not figure out what went wrong, so risk making the same mistake again. And really, a non-resilient person's probably just gonna give up, and that's really the definition of failure. And Roxy, do you have any experience needing to use this trait of resilience at work? Yes, definitely. I have a recent experience at my job at the buffet. Um, I was working, cleaning up the counters, um, greeting customers, and all of a sudden my crew manager approached me and he took me to the back and he basically told me that I'm moving a little bit too slow and I need to multitask better. And listening to him, I was confused. I thought that I was doing a good job in the workplace. You know, it was my first job. My family saw me working before at the buffet and they thought I was doing a great job. So I needed some time to think about my performance and what specifically I was doing wrong and how I can push myself to do better for the next time. But looking back on this experience, I realized that going into any job or any performance, anything, you need to really come prepared and know what you can do to have this great 100% performance on the floor in the workplace. Yeah, I think you handled that really well, Roxy. A lot of people would have seen that criticism as failure and maybe just given up, but instead you showed a lot of resilience in recognizing it. Oh, this is an opportunity for me to really grow and learn, so well done. Yeah, definitely, and I feel more prepared now for the next experience. <laughs> and it's great because it sounds like using this trait of resilience that people are able to reframe failure into something that's actually positive? Absolutely. A resilient person recognizes failure as an opportunity to really grow and learn versus someone who's not resilient is going to see that as kind of the end of the line and potentially quit. Mm -hmm. So being resilient really is recognizing failure, which happens to all of us, as really opportunities to, to keep moving forward. Now think of a time in your past where you were able to learn something from an experience that didn't go the way that you were hoping it would. How did that new knowledge help you in the future? Find a partner and exchange stories about your demonstration of this trait of resilience. Remember that a lot of job interviews will include a question such as, what did you learn after failure? So thinking about it now will help you prepare for your future interviews.